Now that we have our CSS and images in, it's time to try and get our XHTML in. Now the way we're going to approach this is we're going to start, uh, we're first going to start with what we call the global layout in OC Portal. That is the kind of general appearance that is uh, that's common to every screen in the system. So that would include the header, the footer, um, and just the general kind of the way the background works and that kind of thing. The, technically what it is, is it's the surrounding HTML that surrounds the actual page content. So I've still got my theme open here, my, my static design open here. And I just need to take um, portions of this and put it in the templates of this. Now for these tutorials I'm actually going to use my own text editor rather than OC portals. Um, that's just simply because I'm more comfortable in it and it's a bit quicker for me to use. If you prefer to work in OC Boulders it's, uh, it's very good, it's got syntax highlighting and it automatically clears caches and so on. Um, so that's, uh, that's your choice. If you're on, a, um, on, a, on a, another web server rather than your own computer it makes a lot more sense just to use OC Portals inbuilt tools. Right, so here is the XHTML and I need to override certain um, standard templates in OC Portal into my theme and then customize them. So if I go into the default theme, what I need is the header template, the global template, and the footer template. Uh, here we go. I just copy these. And I copy these from the templates directory of the default theme because I'm override the because I'm overriding them as my own custom um, versions. I'm going to put them in the templates custom version of my theme. So I've just copied them through, and I will open them up in my editor. Right. So let's start at the top. In the written tutorial. I've given quite a lot of detail on what you should keep and what you shouldn't and I said most of this head section should stay and as you can see it's mostly actually OC Portal's temp code rather than um, XHTML and isn't, none of it's visible anyway so um, it won't really affect anything to your design if it stays. Um, so. The doc type will be the same in both, so I'll just ignore that. I'm just looking through here what uh, what I think I'm going to need to copy through. And I think actually for the head, all I actually want is... Well, actually, I, I don't even need the link because I've put this CSS into uh, OC Portals already. Um, so I need to now identify what part of this is, um, is the visual header. And then I need to put that into the header of the theme. Um, so uh, a nice way to work this out is to use whatever Fireberg like tool your particular um, browser of choice has. I, um, I'm currently a Google Chrome fan and yeah I think everything down to the end of this main menu div is what I want to be in the header. So, uh, main menu, here we go, and I just need to copy this. Um, I'm going to leave rebody and main website in here because OC Portal's default style is to use them and uh, it's a useful differentiation to be able to have in our CSS because not all of OC Portal's output will be from this template. Um, and I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff uh, because I don't need it. And um, the particular code I have here isn't perfectly indented, so I usually just like to clean it up a little bit. You 
can see already it's becoming much easier to see what's what here. Uh, and you can see actually it doesn't line up. Um, so if I go back here, um, that's actually probably intentional. Uh, probably the extra div will be closed in our footer, which is fine. So now I need to grab the footer. Um, this is a little bit more intuitive um, because I can see right away what the footer is. I'll just grab that. This this is the uh, the closing div I was just talking about. Um, okay, so I can wipe almost all of our footer templates. And again, I'll just tidy this up a little bit. That's our footer. And the global templates are um, always the trickiest one uh, because it has a lot of code in. But um, don't actually be all that worried because most of this we don't even need. Remember the default theme powers the admin zone and it also supports um, mobile browsers which is why uh, we have this whole second copy of the output for mobiles. We don't need to do all of this in our theme, so I'll straight away I'm going to wipe out the mobile stuff. And I'm going to wipe out the stuff about instant messaging, because we don't need that. And I'm going to wipe out all the stuff about the help panel, because we're not going to use this in the admin zone. You can see already it's a lot shorter, and mostly it's just talking about panels and the middle. Um, as I've said in the written tutorial, we actually still don't need to keep most of this. Um, we'll actually, we will want to keep message. We will want to keep middle. We will want to um, keep references to our panel, uh, our panel right, and our panel left. And we want the top messages, and we we'll probably want a panel top too, so we'll keep that. We don't care anything about these width things because we because we're making our own theme. We can make more more um, more assumptions that OC Portal's default theme can make. Um, we can assume what the panel width will be, and we can assume if the panels are going to be there or not. It actually makes our life a lot easier. Um, so of the uh, default stuff, we've actually only got this left now. Now I need to identify what to take from the new XHTML. And um, the stuff we haven't got so far is all of this. Now I'm just going to paste that in. But actually, most of this is page content and panel content. Our panels, ideally, we don't want to do from inside the global template because it makes it hard to edit. And we certainly don't want to put the page content inside the global template because there's going to be more than one page. So now we need to strip all this out. And again, using my Fireberg like tool, um, okay, I can quickly identify actually the column one, column two, and presumably column, yep, column three. Um, I could just strip the contents of those. Uh, it's not as easy as it should be because it's not all indented nicely, but uh, it's good enough that I can actually see. Um, right, this is a little bit trickier. Um, what I'm actually going to do now is my editor fortunately has a little tool for tidying up um, indentations. 
it's complained about a missing div, which might have actually been my mistake when I was splitting this up. Um, but if it was, we'll, we'll fix it later if it's caused a problem. Um, and now it should be very easy to wipe out the first column. There we go. Right, so this bit at the end is uh, OC portal stuff I've kept. And I'm going to put the panel top above the columns. And the message output. I'm also going to put this above the columns. I'm just going to space things out a little bit. Uh, and quite simply, I, I paste the panel references in and the reference to the main page content. And I just sort out this message at the bottom. These um, message bits are for when AC Portal puts little alerts out, like um, the action you have done successful, that kind of thing. Um, I think I want to simplify this a bit um, because we're not using such complex um, calculations about what whips are. So. Take all that off, and as you, as you can see, we have a very very simple template. And um, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So I will go back to my um, my OC portal theme and refresh, and let's see uh, what a mess I've made. I, that is actually surprisingly good. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this good. Um, so we have the default panel left gone in where we expected. I think the panel right was probably blank by default, so that's why it's blank here. You can remember I, I was talking about we can make um, assumptions about our layout that OC Portal's default theme can't. Uh, um, it would be a bad thing if OC Portal left a space here if there was no right panel, but because we know we're going to have one, we don't need to worry too much. Um, this uh, comes from the footer, I think. Yeah, there's a small mistake, I think. Um, something is wrong with the div layout. Um, and I just need to work out what that is. I wonder if it's something to do with this missing tag we had. Ooh, XHTML arrow. Uh, it obviously wasn't that. Um, I am recording this bit of trial and error. I could I could just wipe it off the video, but realistically, ev everyone has to go through this kind of thing to make something work. Uh, let me just refresh again. Right, you, you might have remembered how the 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 tidy up for this added a tag. I wonder what happens if I take it off. That seems better. So maybe the tag actually belonged um, down here. And here we go. I would say that's pretty excellent progress. Okay, thank you for listening.